Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of the Ballad of Gay Tony. This is the final mission, departure time, that we'll be doing today. And we should be waiting for a call from Yusuf any moment here. Yusuf, you staying out of trouble, man? You better believe it, bro. Totally guilt-free. It's business, business, business with me. Yeah, why does that make me think you're about to ask me to do some dumb shit? Hey, what do you take me for? I'm a giver, not a taker. I don't need anything from you. I want to make a gift of my car to you. It's a special machine, but, you know, what you have done for me recently is more special. Thanks a lot, bro. You didn't need to do that, though. No, I did. Yeah, there's a little bit of fun for you in the glove compartment. I think you will enjoy it. All right, man. I'll check that out. Yeah, and thank you again. So you guys um uh, heard that right there, and that's going to help us out on the final mission because... um. Yusuf gave us his car, and he also left us a little bit of a present in the glove compartment. Stop, yo! Let's go to that. Let's get to that car. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Take me to. I finish. I'm going home to blow some haze and beat up. No, my car. Thank you. You. Taxi driver. What the? Oh my God! What a fail. Okay. So look at this. this. This is the car that you get now. My bump, back bumper got a little destroyed because of a dumb taxi driver, but anyways, this is the gun that Yusuf gives you, and this is probably my favorite gun in the game, the Golden Uzi. I love this thing so much. Here we go, departure time. Fuck off, Luis! Ay, Dios mío, have we been through this already? Been through the fact that you wanted to kill me? Been through the fact that you're far from alone that desire? This is over. It's over. I just want to go someplace far away from here and quietly wait to die. I lived it. I lived it hard, and now I'm ready to end it. Oh, shut up, you hysterical fucking queen. Get a grip, bro. Oh, yes! Silly me! <laughs> Silly fucking me! <laughs> the Russian mob want me dead. My best friend just contemplated murdering me. The mob are on my case. I'm massively in debt, and, and I just lost two million dollars worth of diamonds. Any other man would just dust himself off and carry on. Look, okay, I'm sorry I thought about killing you, I really am. But if you keep up with the bullshit, I might have to kill you for real. Fuck off, Luis! No, you fuck off, Tony. I didn't kill you. I wanted to. Why? Because you've become a useless junkie fuck, that's why. But I didn't. And now, it's you and me against the world, okay? And if your brains ain't working right, then I'll make the decision for us, okay? It's Bulgari or us. Or you can shoot us both and make his life easy for him. Well, you're kind of clever, aren't you? I only hired you because I thought you were dumb. Yeah, thank you very <laughs> much. You're welcome very much. Are you coming now? Yes, I'm coming now. Well, let's go, come on. That he's taking on a big heroin ship in that Firefly Island. So, say we find them, what are we gonna do then? We're gonna take out their income stream, and then we're gonna take them out. End this bullshit. Okay, I'm armed, I'm dangerous, let's fucking do this! Come on, T, give me a break. What? We're in this together! Tony, bro, I love you, but I should handle this alone. I don't want you getting yourself killed. Then you're gonna have to punch me out again, Lou. Don't make me, man. You know you're just gonna slow me down, bro. And kill us both. I want at least one of us to survive. Lou? Look, D, don't go home. Don't go to the clubs. Don't go nowhere anyone might conceivably think to look for you. There aren't many places like that left in the city, I'm afraid. Come on. Where you think you can hide that no one would expect? I have no fucking clue. Uh, Dukes? I ran away from there when I was a kid, and I swore blind I'd never go back, apart from to catch a plane. Okay, cool. Hit up, like, uh, that Monaco Monument thing in Meadows Park. Hang out for a few hours. If I survive this shit, I'll find you. If I don't show, then I'm gone. Move to Brazil. Move somewhere. Don't ever look back, T. I thought I was the annoying drama queen in this pairing. I'm serious, T. This is my last testament. Okay. 
Yo, send some money to my mom sometimes. And tell her I love her. Okay, Lou, uh -huh. shit. You'll be fine. Shit. No one in this whole crazy town is crazy enough to take you down. Oh, homeless guy got in the way. But, um, uh, notice how, uh, Tony says that he ran away from Dukes as a kid, and, um, he would only go there to catch a plane. Now, Dukes is based on Queens, and Queens actually has, um, a JFK or Francis International Airport in this, as in this game. Now, pay attention to this cutscene. This cutscene here is really important. So this is the Bulgarin's operation here on Firefly Island. Tell people Timor and Mr. Ray have serious package now. We own H trade in Liberty. So notice that um uh, he he says a different line sometimes, but um you know he didn't say it there specifically, but he'll sometimes say that Raskolov is dead. So Dmitri is already dead um by the time in Nico's story by the time that you actually play this mission. And so the, the um, uh, Dimitri and Bulgarin actually shared custody of the heroine. I just love this mission now. Just fighting through Firefly Island. You hear all the amusement park rides. They're getting shot up. Drugs, <laughs> yep. Love this Uzi. So here they got the heroin in the amusement park, um, these ducks that are here. It's just so satisfying as you're just going through this and just wiping out all the Bulgarian's men and just blowing up their heroin shipment. Now this neighborhood in real life is actually a real place, and I actually hung out here a lot when I was a kid. Um, this is in Brooklyn, or it's in Broker in um, uh, GTA 4, and it's um, it's called um, Firefly Island here. But it's um, in um, in real life it's called Coney Island, and this is actually a Russian neighborhood in real life. So Rockstar did get that right, and there's all these um, these rides here. This is real, so they have amusement parks at um, at Coney Island. I hung out here a lot. There was actually an arcade that I went to. I don't know if the arcade is still there. But I'll tell you, when I was growing up as a kid, Coney Island isn't as nice as it was right now. Like, a lot of the rides were rusty, they were kind of junky, and the boardwalk on the beach, um, it actually had holes in it that you could actually, um, put your foot into. Um, now today the boardwalk is a little better. Watch out for a lot of the red barrels here. You don't want to stay too close to them for that long. I just love all the amusement park music. So yeah, this this neighborhood gives me serious nostalgia just seeing it in a, a game. Rockstar definitely did their research into New York when they did uh, Firefly Island. Let's blow up the last of the heroin shipment. Hey, flies away. 
away now, pretty boy. You are too late to get it. Fuck you. You think he will forget about you? You and all your friends are dead. Yeah, that ain't happening to me. That's Bulgren's right-hand man, Timmer, that we saw earlier. I hate this guy so much. That's it for Timmer. Okay, now we gotta get on that bike quickly. And you can actually kill Timmer um, uh, faster, but I wanted to see where he was going. The sport bike here conveniently left here for Luis. Talk, bro. It's just really coming apart. What do you mean? Let me help you out. There ain't nothing you can do, Yusuf. If this crazy Russian fuck manages to leave the country, it's over for me and Tom. I gotta get down the Dutch Expressway without any number of Russian assassins taking me down. Or oh, we're done. Why am I even saying this? Wish me luck, bro. So that phone call there to Yusuf, that call is actually pretty important. There's a reason for that call being there at the end of, at the end of the game. And I remember what Yusuf said earlier. He said, uh, Luis, if you ever need help, just call your man Yusuf. I love this part coming up now. So Yusuf's in the buzzer. There's gonna be several um, Russian mobster cars that are gonna try to go after you as you get to the airport, but uh, Yusuf's gonna blow them up. There's another one. Don't fuck with that guy. Oh, another one. Don't blow me up, bro. There we go. Oh, I have cops? Um, who's the cops? That's weird. Usually you don't get cops in this mission, but okay. I think there's still gonna be one more mobster car coming after us. Oh, there it is. Damn. Here we go. Now this this is this part's gonna be epic now. This is why it's one of my most favorite GTA missions of all time. There's Bulgarin's plane. And the bike. Ah! Man, I'm messing up right now. Handling is a little bit um it's a little hard to control the bikes in this game sometimes. It's very different than GTA 5. But I actually like it. On. Oh no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now there's gonna be a guy that's gonna be shooting at us here too. Oh, the cut seems like lagging a little bit here. Or I, I shouldn't even say lagging, like the frames were just tearing up a bit. Here we go, now the mission gets even crazier. And if you actually wait, I think Bulgarin will actually say something. Oh, there he is.
all die. Now you can perform an execution here in Bulgren with the pistol. You can't shoot me. You'll blow a whole plane up. I'll take my chances. That's it for Bulgarin, but the grenade. Now, when I played this the very first time as a kid, I thought that Luis was actually going to die here. I love this song. There we go, that's the plane going down. Now I'm probably gonna get a copyright claim for this, guys, but I don't care. Um, uh, I wanted to have the song in this part. Now, to get 100% in this mission, you have to um, uh, land there with the parachute, but we're probably not going to get 100% because you have to get really good accuracy and headshots, too. Definitely one of the coolest GTA moments of all time. This song really fits. Here we go. Okay. Now we can start, um, start going down here. Notice how the song wraps up also as you're about to parachute. Now this guy, uh, you might think that he's just an NPC in a cutscene, but this guy is actually really important to the plot. Now look, when he's going to look at the trash here, he's going to find something. Yup, that's it. It's the cursed diamonds. The homeless guy found them in the end. And this is the same homeless guy that Vlad actually yells at early uh, in GTA 4. You always have to make a scene, don't you? Yeah, I know. It's a real problem with me, you know? I wish I was more like you. Subtle, shy, retiring. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Boy. I used to play around here when I was a kid. Dreaming of the world. Wondering what it was like at that place over there or that little island over there. You ever go that thing? Nah, went to Algonquin instead. Waiting for the world to come to me. You did it, man. You did it. You, you saved my life. You, you saved the business. You, you fucking did it. Hey, man, I did what I could, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. But I don't want you to get a big head. I don't want you to go uh, change, become a megastar, go to Vinewood, write a blog. Oh. It's ironic <laughs> he went to Vinewood queen, in GTA Home Online. Maniac. But we survived, bro. We survived. We did more than survive, amigo. We prospered. We took on this town and now we you hear won. the helicopter we in the background. Place, and we gave it the fucking finger. Fuck you all. I don't care what people say. Tony Prince, 
and Luis Lopez could not be stopped. Huh? Oh, jeez, who's this? What's up, my niggas? Oh, did he just say that? Uh, yeah, hey, man. You fucking made it. Man, that was some serious gangster shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot him up. I said shoot, shoot, shoot him up. <laughs> Yo, T, T, give me a hug, give me a hug. Not too close, though. I don't want to give my father the wrong impression. Ah, oh, Luis, I love you, man. I love you. I love you, too. I love everyone. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, I think my father may be into franchising clubs. <laughs> I know, franchise is not the way to go. The, the club is all about the people. Fuck the people. Fuck them all. We pat your dick and piss all over them. <laughs> You're going to go a long way in hospitality, my friend. Now, um, I'm actually gonna show you guys the credits here, because, um, or parts of the credits at least. Because, um, I skip the credits generally on all the other, you know, um, GTAs. But this one, the credits actually have something important in them. Oh, is this the part? I think it is. This is the part that's kind of important right now. Look who's fighting in the, um, uh inside the cage. It's Brucey and, um, and Mori. They put their differences aside and are settling it in a cage match. And there's actually one more important thing in the um uh, in the credits that actually shows you in relevance to the story. So now take a look at this guys. This part here, um, this part is actually really important to the story um in the um credits. So you see the airport, you see a taxi. Who's in the taxi? It's Packy. And he's got a duffel bag there. I'm assuming that's the cash from the bank robbery that he had left over. So Ta Packy is actually getting on a plane. And when this ended, you didn't know where Packy was going, but now we know he was going to Los Santos. So that was, um, that was it right there. You know, that was like a bit of a nice, um, nice tie into GTA 5, even though GTA 5, you know, I don't think GTA 5 was even being made yet, but... They did plan on having Packy in the next um uh, in the next GTA game, judging by that. So um that's it, guys. That is the end of the um uh, the end of the Ballad of Gay Tony. I love this game. I love playing this game for you guys. It's just um it was a lot of fun. I still have a few more videos coming up. I have a video on Luis's psycho ex girlfriend, um and I have a video on the random strangers that he meets and the club mission. So I still have a few more videos I'm gonna be making. But that's it for the main story and um. There's a few more phone calls that you can, um, uh... There's, um, a few more phone calls that you can actually have right now. Let's call, um, Luis's mom. Mommy! My wayward son. I hope you ain't brought no curses on the family. <laughs> you don't need to sacrifice no frogs for me, Mommy. Listen, I thought you should know that things is cool with Tony now. It looks like we might be okay. What are you doing with that man? Why don't you go to college like a good boy? I mean, I thought you wanted me to respect him. You can respect him from a college library, not just the bandstand of his nightclub. Bandstand? <laughs> Yo, Mia. Look, I can never win with you. I love you, Mommy. I love you, hijo. So that's Luis's final conversation with his mom, and I believe that we can call Maury also. This is Maury. I'm getting spiritual with nature and shit in the promised land. We need people. So pack your bags and come out here. That material shit, it don't matter anymore. So there's a phone call with Maury though, but um uh I don't know why he's not um uh why he's not answering the phone. Uh he should have been answering the phone because there is one final call with him. Let's call Rocco here. This is Rocco. I'll be out of town for a while. Don't come looking for me, because you won't find me. I probably ain't gonna check these messages either. 
Sorry, Ma. You understand. So Rocco skipped town, and it was probably because um, Ancelotti was going to be angry at him over the whole thing that happened with um, uh, over the whole thing that happened with um, a Bulgarin. I think we're gonna check the um uh we're gonna check the email um emails because I think Luis has one final email also. Let's take a look here. Excuse me. What are you doing? Come get with a real boy. Where you wanna go, Heaven? Uh let's see here. Uh internet how go. Quinn. This is it, my compadre. We're here. This music game got me stressed. Don't spill my dude, the buzzard is on the West River for you whenever you want. What's mine is yours, bro. Let's do this, Yusuf. And now let's look at um the computer here. We have one final uh, email. Hey, baby bro, was you involved in that crazy thing I saw in the news? You take care of yourself, you hear? Probably about the, you heard about the plane going down. Me? I ain't crazy, sis. I don't know what you're talking about. So that's it right there. That is um uh that is it for the Ballad of Gay Tony. I had a lot of fun playing this game for you guys. A lot of nostalgia playing this. I just love this DLC and I love GTA 4 all around. This is my favorite GTA game. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care everyone. Oh wait, we got a call from Yusuf. Luis, hello my friend. Uh, did you like the car? Uh, did you like the other gift? The gun? Fuck me, bro. Solid gold. <laughs> all is the best for you, Luis. It makes a statement, doesn't it? Shit, it sure does. Thanks a lot, Yusuf. We are brothers. It is nothing. I've got three more myself. <laughs> See you soon, my friend. And uh, the unfortunate thing is that you can't hang out with Yusuf. Um, uh, that's kind of um, a downer. Um, he would be a really cool friend to hang out with. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.